I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. I'm trying to figure out my day. I woke up feeling weird today. I don't feel sick. I, just don't, I feel off. You ever get that? I just feel out of step for some reason. It's, it's odd. Hopefully I'll get back in step. Uh, and what I'm going to try to do that, I have a letter and I have some sauces from Pulleys. Look at the funky chicken. Uh, this one right here. And that is pronounced Kaowash. By the way, Kaowash is Mayan for the word savage. Isn't that kind of cool? Anyway, this is, uh, I had one of these. I'll read this letter to you. It'll make sense in a second. Stephen Pulley is a great dude. Here's the letter. You ready? Johnny, salutations. I hope all is going well in your world. It is. I'm very happy to present to you a couple of new sauces. Um, I'm sure you recognize Kaowash. Um but it has about double the heat as the last one you reviewed. I got a kick out of that one because you got stuck for a moment on the chili extract, which was a minor ingredient in a, uh, in a minor uh, ingredient. It's still there in the same uh, extract proportion. However, now there's 40% Seven pot primo peppers. So it's now rated at 10 of 10. Kaowash. Looking forward to reviewing this for you guys. However, I'm excited about the funky chicken. The second sauce is funky chicken. I've been developing that one for two years and it finally came to fruition. It's very mild. Um, a table sauce with the same method of fermentation using 3% salt brine with an isolated strain of lactobacillus. I wanted to make sure the so I wanted to make a sauce specifically for chicken, um, a sriracha, but with onions fermented in. Doesn't that sound good? That's why I chose the funky chicken. The fun part is that if you want it hotter, you just pour a little uh, K wash um, and then you have your heat. I like to replace uh, about a tablespoon in mine. I am eager to see what you think of them. It's always exciting to have Johnny Scoville reviewing something one creates. Thanks for rocking the community with good vibes. Much love from the police. Thank you, Steve. All right, so I'm gonna try KO Wash uh, at the next video. I'm gonna do a couple. I'm gonna do this one first as it is. Then I'm gonna review the KO Wash. And then I'm gonna put some of this in this to see if I can play with the heat like uh, Steven suggests. Um, they also sent this really cool sticker, bring in the heat. All right, so uh, let me read you uh, the ingredients on here. Uh, the heat level on this is five of 10. Get your, food in the, get your food in the groove with funky chicken. Enjoy this carefully crafted, smoky fermented condiment on chicken wings, Asian and Mexican foods, pizza, eggs, soups, sandwiches, and more. Covers the gamut, doesn't he? It's kind of exciting. This product is carefully, uh, carefully made with no additives or preservatives um, and is gluten-free. Ah, thank you. Pulleyshotsauce.com, check them out. Okay, ingredients, here we go. Uh, the ingredients are fermented pepper mash, which is, you know what? I'm gonna take a picture of this with my phone because, you know, just getting old. I have glasses, but they don't work anymore. They work. My eyes have changed. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm gonna, if I'm, I get a little shout out to give in just a minute. I agree. It's fermented pepper mash, Fresno, mini bell, and seven pot primo peppers, water, onions, and salt. It's got lemon juice, garlic, molasses, lime juice, salt, fish sauce, which is anchovy salt and sugar. I love fish sauce. Oh, liquid smoke, water, natural hickory smoke flavor, spices. It does contain fish, anchovies. I love when people say that. I always talk about that because it happens so often. People say, I don't like anchovies. I'm like, do you like Worcestershire sauce? Oh, I love it. All right, so uh, shout out first. I have some friends in Kazakhstan. Um, I want to say hi to Roman, Jokar, and Alina. Alina is an absolute doll of a young lady. She sent me a video saying hello to me, and she painted this beautiful little 
kind of like a greeting, a little thing she made. And she's just the sweetest girl in all of Kazakhstan. So hello, Alina. Hello to her brother, Zokar, and dad, Roman. They're very, very cool. They made my night last night. Um, so thank you. All right, so, oh, you know what? Oh, it's got an amazing aroma. You wanna? You wanna smell it? Put on your smell vision. If you don't have it, you need to get it. It's at the App Store. It's for uh, Android and iOS right now. Go ahead and smell it. You know what I mean about that soft, garlicky aroma? Just, oh, just got a beautiful aroma in there. Mm, mm, mm. All right, we're gonna taste this right now. Let's see what we think of it. Beautiful pour. Now this is specifically, he made this specifically for chicken, but clearly you can put it on a lot, a lot more of the things. Here we go. So from Pulleys, this could be the thumbnail. I don't know, I have no idea. I'm Johnny Scoville and this is the funky chicken. This is Chase the Wow, this is the best fermented sauce I've had in a long time. Straight up. Immediately, I can tell you that. What? It's got that amazing fermented flavor. And the fermented onions in there, you can really taste those. No joke. That worked. There's a beautiful sweetness to it. That comes from the molasses. But you get the garlic. I don't really pick up the fish sauce so much. But you know, uh, fermented sauce has that kind of fer monkey, uh, fermented, kind of funky flavor. You really taste the onions in the fermentation of this. You can. So you nailed it. You want to do it with the onions in? Made a huge difference. You know, I was thinking as I was doing this, how could somebody take two years to make a sauce? I get it completely. Trust me, I do. There's stuff that Foy and I have been working on for years. So I get it, but you got it right. I'd love to have a talk with, um, with the guys at Pulleys to find out it took a couple of years. Like I'd like to know how many versions they, they did before they got it right. And was it a dramatic, like, oh yeah, we got it this time? Because I'll tell you something, when I've, I've done things with, with David Foy, where we've made versions of a sauce, I'm like, yeah, this is it. He's like, I don't think so. And then we do another version, I'm like, oh, okay, this is it. And I remember re hearing a uh, quote, and I don't know if it was Da Vinci or Michelangelo, one of the great artists said that no masterpiece is ever finished. It, it's never completed, it's abandoned. Meaning that you can always work on it. You can always keep working on it. Put another thing here or there. At some point, you just got to say, it's done. And you got to abandon it. Um, and I'd kind of like to know, having taken two years to create this sauce, you know, I'd like to know that process. That's fascinating. To me, it is. So, um, but it's got this great sweetness. Um, it's unlike any sriracha you've had, okay? Because sriracha, you have that sweetness with the, you know, the salty and the sweetness. That kind of is the sriracha thing. But this would be very, very versatile. I like this sauce a lot. But just immediately have that great fermented flavor. This is the best fermented sauce I've had in a long time. The funky chicken.